I do not know, you know, the the moment when Kastub bears me to I talk about Sir, we call him Sir. We don't talk about him in terms of his name. I hardly have mentioned his name even in my dream. That is the kind of, you know, the respect we have for our Sir. In fact, Kaustubh had brought a wonderful book to serve with love. I think it's very, very apt and beautiful. <laughs> and uh, serve with love, and the sir was always with love for us. That is the beauty about. Uh, so when he uh, asked me to, then I started, you know, remembering quite a few things because eight years, you know, the, the most of uh, some of the very well-known teachers in the West also, they come once in one year for ten days, for twenty-six years, and uh, so people would uh, claim that they have been in this tradition for 30 years, 50 years. But people like us for 8 years, 24 into 7. <laughs> you know? And uh, to be with Sir so intimately is one of the very, very difficult thing. You know, it's like, it's, it's like Agni. See, if you go very near to the Agni, you are finished. If you are far away from the Agni, you won't get that warmth also. So you'll have to uh, play this game, you know. Uh, anyway, so there are too many things that uh, was coming in my mind, uh, and I thought this place would be um, more appropriate when I share my interaction alone, you know, with you people because his teachings, his um, concepts, his philosophy—it's it's a much much bigger canvas, very big canvas, and which probably have to uh, be done by a kind of international symposium. Mm. Because anything that is said about Sir is equally, equally important as we see about Krishnamacharya also. Because we are all limited. Whatever I am going to say about Sir is my perception about Sir. It is not its totality. And the same thing has happened with Periyavar also. Krishnamacharya, we, we always used to say Periyavar. It's like, you know, there, used, there is a very interesting story in uh, India uh, that, you know, five blind men wanted to understand what is elephant. So each one, you know, the one who touched the leg, third elephant is like this. I think this is what's happening with all our great teachers. There is no exception between Krishnamacharya or Deshkacharya as far as I am concerned. This is number one. So that macro aspects, you know, we are not going to talk. And also even this, the, the very intimate kind of encounters, you know, uh, that is so huge. So I thought, you know, I will, I will make you people ask me question on various aspects of uh, itself, which probably I will try to answer in a way that I have understood. My understanding, you know, I don't say that is the understanding or the final understanding, that is my understanding. I now leave it to you. I ask you to ask me. Yoga has become a big brand now. But I, I got uh, the knowledge of yoga when I was doing my 7th standard or 8th standard. Mm, now I am 65 now. So it should be around 14th or 15th year of my life. No, 14, 13. One of my brother was doing yoga. So that is my introduction. But I thought, you know, then I went into uh, uh, Swami Kolayananda's uh, system of uh, yoga, which was taught in uh, now Express Mall. There was a big building. Uh, 
so then I was also taking training from Dr. Nagendra who has established one of the biggest university in India at Mysore. Um, I was his first batch of uh, certified yoga instructors uh, group, you know. Uh, during those days, you know, one of my friend who was always, you know, the sum of, uh, uh, that was a very formative age. You always feel uh, some competitiveness and jealous about things, you know, very, very kind of. So one day he came out and, you know, you think you are the only one doing yoga, I never claimed. And brought me a sheet, a graph sheet with the drawings. See, I am going to a yoga place. That is how I knew that there is, there are other people who are doing in yoga in Chennai. The way we have learned, you know, is this not this dynamic, those kind of stuff. You go to a posture, be there, come out, and not this kind of sequences, planning, all those kind of stuff. There will be a, a list of asanas. Each day we will have to go, we, they will tick, uh, you do this do this, you know, three posts, this is how, uh, but here is a place, you know, which is suddenly saying that, uh, doing this, that, and by the time I have already come to the college and I was also reading quite a lot, you know, I was more interested in literature, then I got into this Theosophical Society Library. Ah, even before that, there was a very interesting thing, I was also doing quite a lot of, you know, the one of the a, um, a very acclaimed, uh, internationally acclaimed Avantgarh theatre group is my group. And I was one of the founder of that group. I was an actor and director. Um, so during those uh, workings, the founder, who is still alive, who is a uh, very, very uh, important name in literary field, he always used to say, oh, your body is so flexible like Sri Ram. Then I will ask, who is this Sri Ram? No, 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 he was a wonderful person. He was doing very good uh, theater, but he had gone to yoga. That Sri Ram is the Sri Ram who is in Germany now. He was a theater person. <laughs> uh, then I asked, you know, who is this, uh, what is this uh, tradition? Then he said, Krishnamacharya tradition. That is how I knew the name Krishnamacharya. Before that, I have also seen Krishnamacharya's photograph in B.K. Sanger's Light on Yoga. I purchased somewhere in 1972, it, uh, with a silver cover actually. There, you know, in the first page, Krishnamacharya, if you see that photo, oh, really wonderful photograph. And I never thought such a person was living. <laughs> I didn't know that. Then I started, okay, then I was a member of TSFE, then I went there and uh, found the book Yoga Makarandam. It was a translation by another Krishnamacharya of Krishnamacharya. I still have the Xerox copy of that, you know, in a very bad way now. Thanks to Kaustubi has translated uh, because one or two pages are not available in the original book that is kept in the uh, library. Then I decided, let us know. In the meantime, what happened? There was an advertisement in Hindu paper, Ad, uh, inauguration of diploma codes, Krishnamacharya Yoga Mandram. So I just, you know, with all enthusiasm, I landed up. The, it was there in uh, the next stitch. But even before that, I developed some kind of uh, idea about Yoga Mandram because somewhere in 1983, I got married, and uh, my in laws house were in. Uh, a, a street called St. Mary's Road, which joins um, Adyar Gate Hotel. And uh, my in laws people were living in SBI column, which is just opposite to a bangla, where this Krishnamacharya Yoga Mandaram was situated there. So, a lot of foreigners would go and come. So, even though I was learning uh, yoga elsewhere, I thought, you know, this is the moment foreigners and other, you know, people are coming means it is too costly a place. I am not going to go there. This was my <laughs> impression as a middle class person from Triplicane. Triplicane is one of the very popular uh, middle class place in Chennai. And then I came to, uh, so this diploma. So I wanted to join the diploma and came there. 
and i came there then only i found that was the 100th birthday celebration of krishnamacharya as part of that program they also had this diploma program you know inauguration so i jolly well went and it was it was a huge crowd you know krishnamacharya 100th year and uh, in that building you know uh, the, uh, that building is not the way uh, it is uh, it was now no uh, it's uh, in the first floor there was a thatched roof and i saw this uh, krishnamacharya you know it's hard to believe a person could be um, what do you call you know um, with so much of effulgence tejas is actually he is a, a sukshma shariram it is not necessarily that one should have the aura around the head you know because normally we say he looks very tejas but tejas shariram is cannot be seen that is why it is placed in sukshma shariram that's a different area but here that was hundreds a huge crowd lot of people are talking dr b ramod where those are the names you know we were very familiar with but i didn't know who, who is uh, sir a lot of other very important people were there all all top brass of western teachers they were all there who my later knew by name so then uh, the function was over and i just and there was another person so i came down there was a reception uh, there was one uh, girl her name was kalpagam i was always you know feeling very hesitant because she will always talk only in english <laughs> i went near uh, yes i wanted to join diploma so you know diploma everything is over it's only inauguration today no 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 i am interested definitely i want to join i am already yoga teacher i have learned uh, no if you want you like to uh, meet uh, sir i said who is sir that is the time sir was uh, uh, catching hold of the hand of uh, dr narayana swami ayer who was a pitamaha of ayurveda who was the founder of imcops in chennai he was the board of studies chairman of kvm so he was there and he was uh, catching his hand and he was taking him to the you know you won't believe i am awestruck because uh, at least i think i have a long uh, what is it linen kurta he is a very uh, uh, um, khadi dhoti and uh, yeah off slack this is sir's costume she said he is sir that was my first darshan of the sir so then i told this uh, uh, kalpagam okay then i will meet him no 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 you don't meet that way <laughs> i didn't know this protocol you know i said you know when, when can i meet him you like to wait you like to take appointment i said maro goli is here i am not interested because you know it was uh, because that was the time that uh, Mm, i came back from my I, i lived in delhi for some 6 um, years after uh, then i came here in search of a job and i was here and uh, probably i was one of the earliest entry into learning uh, the uh, computer programming language in nit during those days it was not like this uh, even that you know we could just walk in and get the admission even so i thought you know it's it's like that so when they and wherever i went to get some admission it was always you know they they were very happy to take me so somewhere you know it uh, so i said okay <laughs> so i just you know vanished from the whole scene that was the, the first seeing of sir then i entered into the, the portals of krishna charaka mantram when i came to admit my son for a summer program that was in 1987 so i used to every day come along with every day um, in the mornings you know during the summer period 10 days 
then I will sit down, you know, there will be the cane chair and there will be notice board. So I used to see the notice board, you know, it's very interesting. And inside there was a, um, a, a kind of, um, uh, you know, you, you, you have a place where books and other things were kept over there. But initially, I, I, there wasn't any restriction, but there was a restriction in mind to enter. So I was sitting there in the, near the notice board, then there was an announcement about uh, uh, Diploma Superior, who are the people who have got eligible, so that was, yeah, that was, the, yeah, that was uh, not in this system, that was very different and very difficult and uh, Sir told me only three people were uh, given certificate. That is the only certificate which was signed by Krishnamacharya himself. So one is uh, Manakaji <laughs> and there another person who, uh, with whom I continue to study, who later became the director of Yoga Mandaram, Dr. Usha Raghavan. That is another person by name Indra Mohan. So that is another story. Then there was a first diploma. So that first diploma only I tried to, you know, get crash. I was prevented. And uh, ultimately, I am told only three people passed, one Mala and Lata is there and Krishnamacharya, T.D. Krishnamacharya, only three people. I belong to the second batch. This was in 1994, I believe, yeah. So, 1992. So, while looking at all those things, I also saw a small uh, um, notice that Sarah is giving lectures on Yoga Ragasya on every Thursday evening and Yoga Sutra on Saturday morning, 9 o'clock. I saw that. This information is available only to those people who are part of the system. I was not part of the system. So then I asked this, no, no, is it open for public? Then they said, it is open for public. That is how I started attending SAS lecture, even before becoming a student in this place. So, my first encounter of Sayar's voice, Sayar's way of explaining things was through his lecture on Nathamuni's Yoga Ragasya. So, I was one of the very, very sincere guy, you know, used to, there was oddly very few people used to come because it is only for local consumption and the teachers were always busy taking classes. There was myself and there was one person by name Ulaganathan who was uh, studying in AC College of Technology. So we will all take a lot of notes. Uh, because till such time, I never had the idea that yoga has to be individual based. It's like crozen, you know. You give all and anybody take. That is how it was. So it was mind boggling actually, you know. It, uh, it's something. Uh, I have never imagined or ever studied about that kind of approach. So that was, but uh, there wasn't any personal, it was going on for some time. Then I was more interested in knowing and I also used to attend the Yoga Sutra classes in the morning. But by that time, you know, Sarah, Sarah, you know, Sarah has that uh, the wonderful scanning ability. I will just uh, see and they will restart everything. So naturally I know that I would have been already restarted in his mind. Um, so I have been taken as an in-person, even though I am not an in-person for some time. So I used to go, come, this, take water, study. I started entering inside and started studying the book, Religiousness of Yoga. That's one of the Bible for uh, and I wish, you know, sometime Kaustubha should write a commentary on religiousness of yoga because I think he has said everything without saying anything. It warrants somebody who has very, very closely uh, and I, I, I think he should do that. That is one aspect. Um, so then one day I took the courage. Let us take an appointment. So I went to this. Kalpagam, give me an appointment. And I am still preserving this. This is the appointment uh, during those days. This is what they will give. Okay. 
and uh, this is the number 8379998 this was the number of yoga mandram this is kalpagam handwriting and she gave the appointment on 24 1990 i i got this appointment on this day from her for meeting sir on 34 1990 ten days after that was the first time i was face to face to him it was uh, he, he was not told that i am i am i am not coming for any therapy simply yes there was another person sitting over there whom i later came to know he is by name anand who studied diploma along with me afterwards then i went i i didn't have much idea about what he is you know because by his appearance and uh, other things you know and i didn't gather too many information about him also i just went casually and i was a professor by that time in a college aided college so i am a professor and he is a yoga teacher see so i just entered and uh, uh, come on what do you want what is your problem i don't have any problem i'm fine then why do you come i want to join diploma <laughs> then he laughed uh, he made a few uh, very interesting remarks which are very past uh, not about me few things uh, which is a secret i will i will bury and die with me you know that's uh, then he said this yes, but you have to go through all this process you apply when the time comes so that was somewhere in october or something like that uh, that's all so that was my first one to one encounter with a great person with whom i am living even today on many occasion probably i'll i'll say why that kind of uh, i uh, sentimental value with him at a much later time but uh, without uh, any exaggeration uh, almost every day i remember him in some context or other there are reasons to it which probably in course of other questions you will get revealed if it is needed no it is a question of unlearning that was more important because i know one stroke you know of, um you were destroyed about all your ideas about yoga see when i first saw the notice board for the syllabus for diploma there were uh, uh, the one of the subject was ayurveda see the way i have learned uh, in uh, of course swami kolayananda was one of the top giant during those days and his, his system was followed in yoga brotherhood in but most of the things you know we were asked to uh, this is good for thyroid uh, matsya asana if you do it is good for parathyroid you know the all these references terms of references in terms of therapy were very very uh, allopathic so uh, uh, talking about ayurveda uh, in relation to yoga was uh, was very surprising to me so it demolished our whole idea to start with a number 2 uh, um, they always talk about um, uh, uh, some schools they will start with uh, only inverted postures you know and too much of uh, when i worked with yoga brotherhood my everyday program is start with uh, sarvangasana shirshasana when you are coming here you are told you know this is what you are doing is nonsense and also uh, when uh, i was with dr nagendra who is now uh, the big giant actually um, we were made to do uh, the kriyas uh, especially this uh, vamana kriya uh, it's uh, you know that uh, vomiting early in the morning you have to go take saline water uh, and also uh, uh, neti sutra neti jala neti with pot and all, you know we have to buy the pot uh, a lot of times when i do the sutra neti i used to have the bleeding so uh, and i know for certain of course with due respects of all those people here i am seeing something which was which was colossus you know see 
uh, and it took uh, some time but it may it won't take too much of time when you are under uh, under the shade of a great person he was very compassionate to me uh, because i had lot of complexes you must have noticed the way i was started now i don't have any complex during those days he never made those complexes to grow with me he kept close to him how i'll tell you afterwards so naturally unlearning is the most important thing even in music also you know see, i have i tried learning carnatic music uh, every time i'll go to a new teacher uh, i'll stop so the first teacher will, the second teacher will say this is not the way you must learn so unlearn everything and start you know somebody will be starting this for us like a flat note another person will say no 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 we will start with the gamakam right from the beginning so it was all a big problem but uh, so the unlearning is always uh, very very important so the first thing that happened to me was uh, uh, to consciously become humble by my own connections you know uh, uh, at a very young age my exposure to literature was very deep which normally doesn't happen because of my connections some of the very very top uh, writers of tamil they happen to be my friends even today some of them are, have died uh, but i have not become a great tamil writer but i know uh, when i was 16 years old i was already exposed to dostoevsky or uh, kafka or camus you know i i don't understand at all but still i was exposed and i started attending uh, jiddu krishnamurthy's lectures because of the association not that i knew everything uh, so there was always in me that i was slightly far ahead of a lot of people and then um, i had my orientation of economics with one of the best institution in india delhi school of economics uh, then i came and did my mphil and become a professor you know i was already teaching Uh, with the pg and ug students uh, and i was uh, doing theater going to uh, national level to present my productions you know this was a kind of but after hearing him talk after knowing him slightly i, be, I felt you were you were uh, you have nothing actually you are a dust so uh, the first lesson i learned in my life after interacting with sir was that what you were nothing before great people and number 2 he was a very family person very very family person i had uh, um, he took care of the family three while he was doing the lecture there won't be even a single word which are superfluous there would be a, a kind of a pause before the word is delivered not that he doesn't have the vocabulary but is always sure to ensure that he speaks the right word so which helped me in my profession as a teacher i'll be even now you know the, before i say something something stops me come on be careful say the right word or in the language of sir even if you don't say the right word don't say the wrong word say yes for which you know you always for avidya sir will always say it is not wrong knowledge 
you will always say avidya is not right knowledge i think it is such a huge difference if if you if you go behind this word in a very re- see and without your knowledge if you are very close to him it is very very important see just by have being physically close doesn't matter you must you must enjoy him in fact i will be there in mandiram see my college work would be over by 2:30 i will throw my bag in my house and immediately start to yoga mandiram i will be here by 4 o'clock and i will sir will come around 6 o'clock and i will leave mandiram only with sir there was another person by name muthu swami he will be there and i will be there we will walk along with sir up to his house we will see him off you know the <laughs> the worship has to be sent to the place and then we will go to our house and i will reach my home around 10 o'clock so the refinement the refinement is never taught and also the technique of learning without being taught great people have never give everything openly but they open everything to you you will have to develop that tie for example there was one very interesting therapy session yep these are all very important you know a boy came with vision failure uh, sir uh, was you know i was with him at that time by the time i wa- i was groomed as a consultant see here everything is as per <laughs> regradation you know it's not easy it took some a uh, 3 years uh, before he actually graduated me to sit along with him in the consultation so i was there sir after uh, uh, very intensely looking at the person he asked him to remove the glass so this chap removed the glass and sir saw this frame this side is totally you know it was a steel frame so it was pressing very deeply a particular nerve here and this chap had gone to all very great eye surgeons there wasn't any problem optically but still there was a problem of vision but i saw sir solving that problem oh you will have to change your frame man and i tell you the same guy after weeks time came and wept before us he was about to lose his vision he will sit here when the student comes for therapy right from here he will be watching their gates how he moves how is neck he won't ask any question but he will say this is your problem i have seen it with my own eyes there is another case which is very interesting actually It was a, is a very famous south zone uh, player cricket player he was also uh, i think wicket keeper or something or uh, leg spinner his name was suri shaker i even remember the name suri shaker he was uh, suri shaker theriyum illa sir ungalku vairama irpan he was uh, playing for india cement so uh, the the moment you know the uh, you know cricket uh, uh, when they are standing the slips and all those things they have to stand like this he had such a severe uh, low back pain and he cannot move sciatica this that and everything and uh, lots of uh, so when that chap came i was also there uh, sir asked him uh, to remove his shirt so there is a very tight pant and he was having a belt which was very tight on his hip he asked you know do you use this belt always yes sir even while 
playing cricket also i will be having this then he said you remove this and try for some time and i tell you the same suri sakran of course now he stopped playing after some time uh, i said uh, he lives you know peacefully that is more important these are all uh, this may look very simple but the the simple solution comes from years of refinement years of and the another great thing about sir you know which i need to tell you you uh, is that he has never you know uh, showed off his scholarship because i have worked with some of the very great intellectuals and scholars they will uh, even i also drop lot of names ah from kant uh, you know hegel this girgagord they talk big names you know uh, you floor the people and suddenly take a quotation from taitri upanishad to enforce a point about tanamaya kosham or take something from he knows everything he can quote by heart but he will never do all those kind of uh, uh, alankaras i was also fond of quoting ah <laughs> oh, yeah then I have seen Roman role in Polanski's uh, China town, you know, so that the, you can flabbergast people and floor them, you know. Milas Furman, yes, I have seen. Then I stopped doing that. <laughs> I don't, unless and until it is very, very essential, I, I stopped quoting. But having been with him, repeatedly again and again and again telling you don't have to memorize things automatically go in he was very compassionate at least with me you know and i think uh, uh, if you are this way you should be the same way for all the people uh, i was uh, even kaustub doesn't know and uh, when i was doing my diploma or post diploma i developed the typhoid and uh, in one of the demonstration uh, i was supposed to do strasna and i didn't do properly and sir you know just uh, lifted and did something and uh, i did not know what happened actually on that day i developed fever in two days it was typhoid i was in a very bad state and i was one of the very sincere student attending the classes and after learning that i was sick sir visited my humble flat along with manaka ji and after his visit because i was already afraid that i am going to lose my teacher after he visited me from the second day my fever subsided i will never forget this and uh, probably i was the first one you know kaustub said something i do not want to use i but i have to use i to refer to sir see uh, even while uh, uh, doing diploma i was made as an instructor in the first year itself i did not finish my diploma and uh, even before obtaining the diploma that was the time krishnamacharya yoga mandiram published a journal that was the only official journal of krishna jaraga mandram which subsequently stopped probably the editor also was here avi balasubramanyam yeah yeah so i was uh, asked by sir to be the assistant editor and he gave me a pen hero pen still i am having it that is a pen in which he used to write i i have uh, some of the important memorabilia that has been offered by him one is uh, and also he, he uh, after making me joint director a day you know you will always call call me day only is uh, and i will always feel very happy when he calls if he is not going to call me day that day is over for me <laughs> i am finished because that is a kind of uh, bandham which is not good also in a way he ne your card potu kada enga ponalo you show this card i still have that card with me okay and the third thing a uh, third thing uh, was um, uh, you know uh, in uh, in his house 
And now, after cost to century, that place has become different. Previously, there used to be a, um, a, a steel stairs. So, people have to go from outside through the steel stairs. So, <laughs> their uh, sir will have uh, um, one uh, long uh, uh, yoga mat for him and for the students, you know, who come. In fact, I was, if you are called to that place, that is a day that you have attained Nirvana. <laughs> so, I was waiting, waiting, waiting. And in fact, I have written that day also. It was uh, uh, 19th February 1991. For the first time, I was invited by Sir to that place. Anyway, that is a different story. So, he, he one day was asking me, uh, yoga mat He asked me whether you are having yoga mat. I said, I don't have any yoga mat. Sir, I am doing with my jamkalam, you know, in our house. Then he said, he rolled the yoga mat which was there. Hey, I am doing yoga mat. And I am not doing any yoga in that mat, but I still have that yoga mat in my house. Okay, if I may uh, quote uh, Sir himself, I think it is in the lineage. I think even Krishnamacharya was like that. See, he was, um, he was unapproachable by his very personality. But I am told by our teacher that he was very compassionate. Even people who were not good to uh, 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 his teachings, when they had problem, he was very compassionate. In, in my case, you know, the, one of the important attraction for me in uh, Yoga Mandram was, see, you know, in India, we are, uh, only one uh, section of people, by wrong interpretation of history, were allowed to learn Vedic chanting. Okay, so that was more important for me. I don't, by that system, belong to that group. So Vedic chanting was opened up, of course, with the permission of, but it is he who took that initiative. That is what I wanted to believe. So we were drafted to learn Vedic chanting. From my group, I think I am the only one who continue to uh, be in Vedic chanting. and. Uh, you would always uh, uh, be uh, forthcoming and more open and share everything if he finds you really sincere. Uh, so I was uh, learning few uh, for one year with uh, another person, and suddenly he uh, took me to his group, which was on every Sunday morning. And there again, um, it's all you know, it's all my blessing actually. Uh, one fine morning, uh, during those days, I was living in a faraway place called Madipakam. He said, uh, Come by 6 o'clock, because Arun was supposed to be recited even before the sunrise. But then, that was the earliest time that I could come. All the way from Madipakam, I will be here. And I tell you, he taught me on a one-to-one -one basis, the whole of Arun. And he will always say, don't tell it to anybody. Runa means debt. Aruna means you won't have any debt. And the moment Sarah started teaching me Arunam, I started getting relieved from all my debts. I am talking about monetary debt. All the other debts are there. <laughs> Pitru debt, Deva debt, you know, lot of Yajnas are there. I am saying the truth. And you will also say, Yang Appa Cholvarada, Arunamandi should Aranitha break the law. They broke the law and taught me people. Pushmandam. And uh, every month, you know, on Periyavars uh, uh, Nakshatram day, we will have Abhishekam for Periyavar. We will all be there. I used to be a perennial lead goer to my college work. Because if Sir calls me, I don't care about other things. I simply will be here. And why I am so emotional about him is another thing which no other person will do. He taught me Sandhya Vandana. Personally. 
the whole ritual starting from achamanam till uh, the last shankar chakra gadha haste with the last pranam where the very uh, in fact after that you know i should say i have i have uh, uh, made lot of people look after the upanayanam i make them learn properly he gave me that stages and vedic chanting when parmacharya's uh, photograph was to be unveiled in yoga mandiram he made me along with some senior teacher especially sujia is one of the very good chanter we were the people to sit in front he did not see that is the greatness of him is makala is one of the very good the chanting person she taught to lot of people makala was behind rupali another good person but he made me to sit in front na karmana anatyagena that is what we do for sanyasi and died and one more at the occasion when we visited ramana ashram on the way we also visited yogi ram surat kumar ashram and he wanted sir to do the chanting i am blessed by sir to be with him to do the chanting yeah, how can i forget all these things in tamil you know we will say in the janmam porum pa you know that means le- this life is over for you know it's full for me i cannot be otherwise with him but i believe i also used to think why should it be like this two reasons i have found out on my own one is there was one very sincere and uh, uh, devoted uh, person for yoga mandram his name was e r dorai swami ayyar yes rama swami ayyar but his initial is e r so probably he must have connected my initial is also e r <laughs> okay and another thing he used to say was uh my shat shatabishak my uh, star krishnacharya the is father hey yang appa nachathirunda avunukku so somewhere uh, and subconsciously some kind of uh, small softness you know i also as a prose whenever a boy who is with the name of mahesh my son's name i will be very very soft with him in the college even if he does all the mistakes he is having my son's name <laughs> there is all uh, i think that should be but uh, very very rarely in a, a, in a same family immediately another great person is born you you take the histories of all great people all great people there won't be any person immediately in that family maybe after several generation to happen with the equal amount of clarity and popularity you take in music you take in theater you take in philosophy you take in economics and any field you know i can quote i worked in most of these fields that is why you know with the, all the authority i am saying you take academics you take cricket our great friend is here there is hardly any great players son or daughter i become somebody no immediate generation but here is a phenomenon just like periwar was self made and i think sir is also in a way self made on his own you will have to uh, go through and you let find i do not want to say everything because i have studied under him i do not want to say everything to you you suffer you will get because they have said everything see it is, it is up to us he was not very good in the local language but he was fond of uh, one of the important recitation which is known as prabandham nalaya divya prabandham which is uh, so you would always ask me unu theriyuma da i will say theriyum sir then will you recite the way it is recited in the temple even though i am not trained that way but I, right from my childhood i was very religious i used to go to the temple regularly so rapatte pagalpatte everything so it's all in my ears you know i said okay then i anyg you teach me i 
and I tell you it is uh, st uh, it's, it's chilling me I started teaching him in Sanidhi that is not a big deal normally in Sanidhi he will he will sit on the uh, west facing east we students will sit on the west facing him on that day he said hey ningo ondu karra ma swami how do you explain this kind of attitude <coughs> that is why when i left in 1996 that was the last day the valedictory function of krishnamacharya's 108 birthday i was the last one to render a vote of thanks as director and i finished with pasaram which was very dear to sir i will render that pasaram and finish urilen kaani illai oruvar mattoruvar illai paarilin paada moolam patilen paramamoorthi kaaruli vannane kannane kadarugindren aarular kadaiganamma arangaman agarullane namaste dhanyavada